The Meatly has hidden many secrets in Bendy Chapter 4, but one of the most exciting is a hidden message in the audio of the death sequence. In fact, we can hear several messages. In this video, I will share those messages with you, so let's get into it. Another Bendy and the Ink Machine secret? You betcha! The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to play a little snippet of the audio played forwards, but I just wanted to give you a little snippet of what to expect because we're going to reverse the audio and reveal a special message. Now normally the sound that we hear in the death sequence sounds like this. However, if you reverse the audio and apply some effects to it, you can hear some pretty interesting messages from what sounds like Henry and maybe a couple of other characters. Because this audio has been affected in many different ways and had some background noise applied to it, it's going to be a little bit difficult to hear, but I have provided some subtitles which will show you my interpretation of what is being said in the audio. Because of all of these crazy effects, I'm going to play the audio through twice so that you can hear all of the dialogue being spoken with different sorts of effects applied to them. This will make a lot of sense once you actually start hearing the audio, so I'm going to play it right now. Now what does all of this mean? Of course we've got a few snippets of dialogue from the earlier chapters in the game by Henry himself. Whether all of these are said by Henry or not is up to interpretation because of all of the effects applied to the dialogue. Though it does seem that some lines were spoken by different characters. That being said, I don't think these lines are only from the past, I think that they actually foretell what's going to come in the future. In particular, there's a line that says something about hiding in the notes, so maybe this is foretelling something that we need to do in chapter 5, which would be rummaging through some notes. It sounds like Henry says this line, so it seems like he's going to be doing a lot more snooping in the next chapter. There are also lines such as all of us together and then again it's over which sound like they're being said by a different character. This character's voice sounds a little deeper than Henry's and a bit more demonic but then again like I said it could just be an audio effect applied to Henry's voice. Judging from the tone of these messages and what is actually said it kind of sounds like a boss type character. Perhaps it is Joey Drew although he did sound more jolly than this in his audio recordings but we have heard him sounding a little bit cranky in his audio tape in the maintenance area of Bendy land. On the other hand, if all of these messages are said by Henry, then it kind of sounds like his last words at the end of chapter 5, or the kind of words that he would say on the lead up to a final battle, or the conclusion of a final battle. Other interesting things that are said here is that clones need to be made, and there's some unintelligible chanting if you notice that in my subtitles, which could be some sort of magical spell being chanted. Of course we've seen a supernatural theme throughout the entire game, most notably in chapter 1 and 2, we haven't really seen it much since then. It kind of died down a bit in chapter 3, but then it came back in chapter 4. But I've also provided some normal transcriptions of what this could have said, the most interesting of which is something about the worth of artworks. So if this is true, then perhaps Henry will eventually come into contact with Grant Cohen as an ink worker, which would be interesting because it was kind of exciting to see his sort of descent into insanity. When we enter the management office, which also happened to be his office, we noticed a whole bunch of messages scribbled across the walls about taxes and not having enough money and all of the figures not 
adding up and specific numbers as well, which is very reminiscent of an episode of The Simpsons where Homer Simpson went completely nuts and started writing about having no TV and no beer, making Homer crazy. But despite this dramatic introduction into Grant Cohen's fate, especially with that audio tape with that unintelligible noise, we still don't really know what happened to him. Hopefully this line that we can hear here, if it is what I think it is, will hint towards us learning more about Grant Cohen's fate in chapter 5. And with the introduction of Bertram in chapter 4 and all of his crazy machinery, it gets me wondering if Grant Cohen was made into a machine creature since he was situated so close to the attraction, or if he fell fate to Joey Drew's ink magic. Heck, who's to say that they're both not intertwined? But regardless, I would love to be able to fight a Mecha Grant Cohen. It would be rather cool. And if we can get a secret similar to Bertram with a Grant Cohen Mecha, that would be awesome. For those who don't know, you can actually ride Bertram. And if you wanted to find that out, you can tap this video or check out these videos, which were picked just for you. If you're new, remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more Bendy and horror game secrets. And prodigies, I hope these videos help to expand on how you think. See ya!